I was watching my old videos until I saw this. <laughs> I remembered how proud I was of this character creation. Of course, this is nothing wrong with that. But after four years experience in Blender, I wanna recreate this character in a whole different way. So we have no time to waste, let's go. Oh, let's do it again. Three, two, one, go. So let me show you how I usually do if I hadn't a character concept. At first, I would be researching for reference images. It's highly important to pick many reference images and from many different angles. The first question that I would be asking myself, how can I add my own style and touch to the character? Well, during this video, I will explain that. I usually gather my reference images using a software called PureRef. The software allows me to gather all my reference images that I need in one place. Also, it's highly important to have reference images from the real life like Anatomy. Now we have all the reference images that we need. Let's skip to the next point. Concept art. What? What is a concept art? I'm gonna google this word to show you what a concept art is. Concept art bezeichnet eine form der illustration. Pro artists are usually create a character sheet. On this paper you can have reference images from many different angles like the top, the front, the back and the button view if that's important. And sometimes you can add notes to the character that you think they are important. For now, I want to recreate Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter. Well, this is not my own concept art. That's why it's pretty easy to draw the reference images from many different angles. Okay, done. I need to pick a sculpting software to create Hisoka. Of course, I'm gonna go with Blender. Blender can do many things like modeling, sculpting, rendering, and more. In the past, I used the box modeling to create Hisoka. And today, I'm gonna sculpt Hisoka with Symmetry Off. What? Yes, with Symmetry Off. With Symmetry Off! Okay, the first step it's gonna be blocking out the character. Block out is the most important part of the sculpture process. If your foundation of the character is not strong, the no amount of details or cool texture later on we will save a bad sculpt. In the past, I blocked out the character manually and from scratch. But for now, I'm using the new assets bundle that was added to Blender website. Those are human-based meshes which are free to download and to use wherever you want. I know guys, this is a big challenge to sculpt with symmetry off. But why not? I'm here to improve. Hisoka does have outstanding poses, so let's pick one of those poses for our workflow. After blocking out the body, it's time to add more details, and for that, I'm gonna remesh the body. Shift R to change the voxel size, Ctrl R to remesh. Also, I need to mention that I'm using a paid add on for remeshing. This add on called the Quad Remesher. Okay, that was a lot. Let me grab a drink and take a break. Thank you. 
that's much much better. For the head I used the symmetry because that was really difficult to get the face proportion right. So yeah, I cheated a little bit, but in a big 3D workflow process like this one, sometimes it's okay to cheat. Winky face emoji. Creating the hair is not that difficult. What makes that difficult is the time consuming process. I had no time as usual, but yeah, I need to deal with that. Let's give Hisoka some colors and a basic render. Of course, this is not our final render, because we are gonna bring him to life. And guess how? Of course 3D printing. So now we are ready to prepare the mesh for 3D printing, but before that, let's make some adjustments. Like increasing the body counts using the decimate modifier and slice some of the body parts. For 3D printing, I love to use Lychee software. It's good, it's fast, and it's beginner friendly. For 3D printing, it's essential to add some support, and let's switch to reality. I'm using the Illigo Mars 3 Pro as a 3D printer. This is an STL printer. STL printing need resin, so this stuff is toxic. I'm wearing a mask and goggles all the time. I look like a crazy doctor when I have my outfit on me, but hell yeah, who cares? Safety is first. After hours of 3D printing, it's finally done. Let's take a look how it's turned out. Let me clean up the supports. Ok, next step. It's time to glue the body parts together. So we're gonna start with the white premium color. Let it dry. Let me pick my favorite brushes and prepare the desk for painting. We are almost done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final result about how I turned a 3D cube in Blender into a physical statue that you can touch and feel. Enjoy the final result and I'm gonna catch you later. Bye.